Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is a 2011 MacBook Pro. Now these were just recently introduced, Apple did some changes to the interface ports on the side of this machine and introduced a new Thunderbolt port. Well this video is all about the memory and the performance of the machine. Now one of the first things I do when I get a new MacBook Pro is I run some benchmark tests. You'll see the results of these on the screen as I'm speaking. And in its standard configuration, this is a 2 GHz quad-core Intel Core i7 MacBook Pro. And as standard, it comes with 4 GB of RAM. Well, I like to always increase the memory on my laptops to sort of the maximum they can handle. And Crucial Technology are a company that I really trust. They do fantastic memory that's guaranteed to work in the machine. It comes with a lifetime warranty as well. And they've been really kind and sent through an 8 gigabyte RAM upgrade kit. So I'm going to get this 8 gigabytes of RAM installed in the MacBook Pro. I'm going to show you how I do that and then I'm going to be bringing you some more benchmark results towards the end of this video. So there's going to be a few things that you need to prepare before you start your memory upgrade. Now I normally use an anti-static mat to do my memory upgrades on. I've been criticised a lot before because on occasion I haven't used any sort of anti-static procedure for installing memory. So I'm going to advise you to use an anti-static wrist strap. They're only a couple of pounds. This end you put round your wrist and this is connected to an earthing plug which is just underneath my desk. Also make sure you've got a nice clear sort of work area to do your upgrade. I've actually laid my MacBook Pro face down, so lid down, on sort of a soft towel and also obviously made sure that it's completely powered off. You don't want to complete this upgrade while it's in sleep mode so you need to completely turn your laptop off. I've also got a screwdriver with the correct size bit in it. Now for this particular laptop I've got a Phillips size 0 bit in this screwdriver uh, and that makes sure you won't damage the screws. So let me put my wrist strap on And now we're ready to go, so we're going to pop this memory to one side and we just start simply by removing the screws. I'm going to speed this part of the video up because you don't want to see me remove all of these screws one by one. So that's all of the screws removed. Now it's worth noting that there are some small screws and the small screws come out of all of these holes round here. There are also some larger screws which are these longer ones and these larger screws, remember which holes they go in, the larger screws come out of the three rear holes here and as you're looking down on the laptop with the hinge at the back they're the three in the top right hand corner so they're slightly longer than the rest of them so now we're ready to remove the cover and we should just be able to ease it up with our fingers and then it just releases from its catches and we can reveal the inside of the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now this is all about the memory the memory is uh, actually located just in this central section here. But I'll just show you what the, the other parts are as well. Obviously this is the main sort of circuit board area. Uh, we've got a couple of ventilation fans here and they push uh, heat and dissipate heat out of the back of the laptop. So through this sort of back hinge area here. This is the super drive for reading and writing CDs and DVDs. Then we've got the hard drive in the corner here and you can see this is easily accessible too it's just a couple of screws that you remove here there's a little pulling flap here to remove the hard drive so it's quite easy to do an upgrade on your hard drive as well and this is a user accessible part so you can change this without uh, invalidating your warranty same as the memory that's user accessible as well and then this is the battery now this looks like it's user accessible but it is not it can only be done by an Apple authorised service centre and after your thousand charges you might find your battery doesn't perform as good as it did when the computer was brand new so you might need to get it changed out 
by Apple after about sort of three or four years. So we're going to do the memory. So this is the memory here. Let me put my little pointer to one side. Very, very easy to do a memory upgrade. Again, remember to wear your anti-static strap or use an anti-static mat. And we've just got two little tabs either side of the memory. Let me just give you a close-up of this. And all we're going to do is to release these two little tabs, like so, and the memory just pops up. And then we can very carefully just ease this memory out, and that is one memory module removed. So we can pop that to one side, and then we do the same again. We just push the tabs out, and the second module, so the lower module, will also release. This one's a little bit more tricky to get to, but let's just ease this apart again. This one should also pull out fairly easily. That's quite a tough one to get out, actually. So let's just release those tabs again and make sure that it comes all the way up above the tabs, and then that makes it a lot easier to remove. So again, just to reiterate that, pull these tabs apart until it pops all the way out and then it's very, very easy to remove. So now we're going to grab one of the new ones. So this is the Crucial packaging. Very, very nicely packaged. And we're just gonna pop this out of the packaging. Try not to touch the gold connectors, that's very important. We don't wanna to touch those gold connectors and contaminate them with any sort of fluid or grease off of our hands. And then we're going to lower this in. A nice angle, so we're going above the two tabs and we're just gonna make sure that those gold connectors are in the uh, memory slot. Again, let me just remove this so you're ensuring that this tab here, we've got a little tab here, just here. We're gonna ensure that that lines up with the tab in the laptop, pop that into the lower slot because we're obviously doing the lower slot first and then we're just going to ease this underneath the tabs so it's gone under the first set of tabs and then we're going to just continue pushing it down until it clicks into place. So it's a very nice design this because it's just the lowering motion that pushes it in to those tabs. Now we're going to get the second one And again, making sure we don't touch the gold connectors and that we've got that little slot lined up with the slot in the receiver. And push that in so that the gold connectors go in like so. And then push down gently until those tabs clip up. So we've got two tabs either side and they clip up into place. So that is the memory installed. Now it's time to put the cover back on to the MacBook Pro. And again, I'm going to speed this bit up so that you don't have to watch me put all those screws back in to the, uh, the, the, the bottom cover. So there we go, that's all the screws back in the bottom of the laptop. Now probably the next thing I would suggest you do is grab those uh, uh, cases that the new memory came in and just pop the old memory chips sort of safely away. And at least then you've got the, the old memory safe if you ever sort of want to downgrade your laptop, if you've got any problems with the memory, perhaps you want to revert it back to the original state uh, so that you can sell it maybe in the future. or well, it's just a good idea. Perhaps you can sell these on or pass these on to somebody else who wants the old memory out of your laptop as well. So that's all of the screws back in. Everything's aligned nicely. And now it's time to get the MacBook Pro switched back on. So here you can see screenshots from the two Geekbench tests that I've run. 
Now on the left we've got the results for the 4 gigabytes of RAM and on the right we've got the results for the crucial 8 gigabyte RAM kit. Now we're not really interested in the overall Geekbench score, although it is relevant, we're more interested in the actual memory performance. With the 4 gigabytes of memory, we had a result of 5111, and with the new crucial 8 gigabyte kit, the memory performance has increased to 5378. Also, memory bandwidth performance has had a big, big increase in, in, in performance, and that's gone from 5361 to 5839. So, really good result there. Now, the other application that I also ran to do some benchmarking is Xbench. Again, you can see the results here on the left, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and on the right for the 8 gigabytes of crucial memory. Now, again, we're interested in the memory results. So, on the 4 gigabyte one, the uh, overall system score here is 539.47, and it's increased to 541.98 with the 8 gigabyte kit. Now, the allocate test has increased the most going up from 809 to 853, which is equivalent of 3.13 mallocs per second. And the fill has decreased slightly, but the copy has increased very slightly, so the copy speed has improved. We've also got some uh, streaming uh, results here as well, and I think on looking at these across the board, these have all increased. So big, big increases in the add and triad scores. If you look here, going up from uh, 11,088 megabytes per second to 12,380 megabytes per second, and the triad memory test increasing from 10,659 to 11,758 megabytes per second. So I'm really pleased with how this crucial 8 gigabyte memory kit has increased in performance. It gives me a much bigger memory overhead as well on the computer, so it allows me to run more applications at the same time. And overall, the MacBook Pro certainly does feel just more snappy and responsive. Well, thanks very much for, for listening to this review and watching this video. If you want to check out Crucial's memory, which, as I say, is all guaranteed to work if you use their um, sort of memory finder tool, then it will be guaranteed to work on your MacBook Pro. Save yourself some money along the way as well. You can find all of Crucial's memory on crucial.com forward slash UK. Thanks very much for watching. Please come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.